Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to today's video. It is awesome. We are here at Clear Choice Designs because that little guy right there, yeah, he's getting full PPF'd and it's not the typical PPF that we're gonna do. So stay tuned, it's gonna look amazing. We are back at Clear Choice Designs with the V4R. It is done being wrapped in stealth. And I'm gonna say it, it looks pretty freaking good. Thanks to Buster here for going through all this and dealing with the pains that I'm sure he's going to go over here in a little bit. But before we talk about all this bike and everything he had to go through, let's go back and show what's behind the scenes and how he actually was able to get a template set for the V4R. It is a um, amazing tool for what we do. Um, you have every make, well, within reason, every make and model, year, things along those lines. So in here, I just click on motorcycle type, um, 2023, Ducati, uh, Panigale V4R. Hope I pronounced that right so no one judges me. They'll judge you, it's the oh, internet. I hope so. Uh, <laughs> we have cowl and fender kit, fairing kit, gas tank, um, full coverage, standard coverage, um, headlamp, tail section. So let's click on one and see what we got. What's really cool is how this breaks it down. It gives you all the dimensions and then it gives you that to sort of look at, okay, yeah. this is what we have. And then let's turn it into a proper puzzle. And there you go. So you know you have your left or your left side of the bike, your right side of the bike, um, top section, bottom section, and then actually under the bike. So underneath your bike is covered. I was pretty surprised <laughs> when he said, "Yeah, we have bottom pieces to put on." I'm like, "Yep, oh, you're gonna be laying on the ground doing this." All right. It was it was fun. It was big fun. But yeah, so there's all kinds of different pieces and things like that. So. Um, I have all the pre-cuts so that way, you know, minimal amounts of possibility to take a blade to your vehicle. So minimal amounts of times did I ever touch the PPF with a blade so that way it just keeps, it's cheap insurance. We're going to go over some of the easier parts, some of the not so easy parts. Show us what the easier stuff was at first. So some of the easy stuff, the first panel I actually laid on the bike was the uh, front cowl section and it was honestly one of the easier sections on the bike it, it made me happy it gave me that <laughs> boost of energy that i needed coming into a big project like this false sense um, of security yes yeah yes, awesome yes we love that um and yet again with the pre-cuts being you know implemented on this bike it made it you know pretty nice to lay panels and get that instant gratification <laughs> it, it helps you go for the next step oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> moving to the back of the bike um the tail section and this is where I found myself, you know, scratching my chin and trying to figure out exactly how we were going to use the pre-cuts and implement, you know, relief cuts and right. gloss pieces and things like that. Um, so tail section was amazing, top section, and then moving to the bottom section, there's a license plate there, yeah. uh, bottom sections on both sides. And yet again, trying to figure out how to place lines and things like that. Right, so this wasn't just, even though those are easy stuff, this wasn't just slap it down and go. There was Absolutely. some thought put into it because you'll see as we go and do a little pan shot that there's some clear coming through here. There's some paint actually showing, it's glossy. So we wanted to keep that idea throughout the bike because again, we're playing off the fact that those relief cuts are real. Yeah. So that's what we did. <laughs> Definitely, and uh, moving to the little bit, you know, getting into some tough areas. We talk about you know this top section of the gas tank and the gas tank itself. Um, this is you know where we get to points of massive amounts of thoughts and how to place things and even how to just lay them in general because you have this big tank that has a lot of curves and things like that to it. And then 
going down from there to the side sections. Absolutely, um, lots of lots of time and effort and brain power that I uh, am trying not to lose. <laughs> but yeah, um, these areas were quite challenging and relieve cuts yet again. The difficulty, you have a scale of one to five, right? Yes, that is how it so is. So the side panel was a five. <laughs> <laughs> I can only imagine because of the gills that are here. Oh yeah. How just frustrating that is. Oh yeah. What sort of, I guess, techniques did you have to sort of play with? So different solutions. Solutions are liquid solutions for installing the film, whether that's soapy water, um, there's things like installation gel, um, isopropyl alcohol, things like that. Mixing up different solutions to make sure that the PPF didn't want to stick too aggressively or fall off the bike. Um, and then stretching and things like that. There's a lot that goes into it that is kind of hard to describe to some degree. Why do PPF, why even put any of this on the bike? Why did I choose satin? Honestly, I love the satin color on pretty much anything. But more importantly, the 1299 Superleggera is my favorite Panigale and it is a satin paint. And I was sort of trying to replicate that with this V4R. The other thing I noticed was the way these curves and the way this roundness edge and everything meet when it's gloss, you sort of lose that. This accentuates it. It even brings out the lettering even more than what it did. Next, I'm gonna do ceramic coating and to kind of go over why PPF is better than ceramic coating alone, why this PPF is good. Why is that Buster? I would not say one is better than the other, um, but ceramic coating and paint protection film complement each other very well. Um, reason being is because ceramic coating is really good for cleanliness and hydrophobic tendencies and all of these other things, whereas paint protection film protects from scratches, rock chips, all that good jazz. You're gonna be riding this bike as it should be ridden, correct? On, at speed on the track. <laughs> and this product in particular, it has a 10-year warranty that's gonna cover um, discoloration, cracking, things along those lines. Not only that, but the edges popping up and um, the self-healing properties. This film actually heals itself. You get scratches, you get swirl marks, you get things like that. Put it out in the sun, it all disappears. I don't, I like, there's, that just blows my mind, that self-healing, it's like a Wolverine. Yep. <laughs> and it's for 10 years, so it's it's a really good product. Expel has been in business for a very long time, and they have a lot of awesome things to bring to the table. Yeah, and it, honestly, this thing, <laughs> I love it. It looks good. Buster killed it. Clear Choice Designs, thanks for getting it done in essentially, what, five days? So it looks great. It's killer, great work. Not only that, they stand by their work. So if anything lifts, I get to bring it back to his smiling face and he gets to fix it. I love seeing it. <laughs> so guys, I hope you enjoyed this sort of walkthrough, kind of see what goes into wrapping a motorcycle. A lot of corners, a lot of edges, a lot of weird spaces. And it's not easy, but he did it. So with that, I hope you all enjoyed this video. And uh, you're gonna see more of this PPF satin bike. Y'all have a good one. I'm out. <laughs>